There are a lot of perks to being on the same team as Denver Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning, you know, like Super Bowl appearances. The only problem, Peyton Manning is kind of annoying. WSJ sports reporter Kevin Clark is here with more. Hi, Kevin. Hi. So what makes Peyton Manning so annoying? Well, he's incredibly prepared, and that's what makes him a record-setting quarterback, probably the best quarterback of all time. The only problem is he's too prepared. People walk past him in the locker room. He wants to give them pop quizzes. He, he kind of uh, overshadows assistant coaches and tells guys what to do. And really, generally, look, they like playing with him, but kind of gets a little irritating when he's so smart and telling you to do all these different things. I can't imagine being in the locker room and just kind of being like, oh, here's a pop quiz. Like, what kinds of things is he asking? Yeah, he asks a really obscure questions about that week's opponent. So probably if you walk by him in the locker room this week, he'll be asking about the Seahawks and their defensive backs and what reads you should look for on third down. Stuff that people don't want to hear in the locker room. You know, Louis Vasquez, the guard, he told me that yeah, locker room's time to relax, time to kind of veg out. Well, you can't really do that when Manning's around like a maniac, just sprouting questions all over the place. So, yeah, I mean, he really likes to keep guys on their toes. It's part of what makes him him. But like you pointed out, I mean, he does have the record to back this up in this season. I mean, 55 touchdowns, like, that's a pretty it's a pretty good record. Yeah, it's amazing. And you know, every time a guy gets annoyed with him, they sort of say that to themselves. Okay, this guy's making me money because he's making me look good. Eye-popping statistics, and obviously they're here, and they wouldn't be here without him in the Super Bowl. And so, look, they take this with you know, kind of a good attitude because they know that if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't nearly be in the place they are now. And what makes him this way? Is it just this, like, obsession with every minor detail? Yeah, I mean, he's so, like, his father was a, was a record-setting quarterback, uh, Archie Manning, you know, number one overall pick. He was number one overall pick. He started when he was 12 or 13 years old like this, and so he's 37 now. He's just obsessive. I think that part of it, you know, he had a couple neck surgeries last year, uh, just two years ago, rather, before last season, and I think that part of it is that he knows he doesn't have the physical ability he used to, so what does he do? He gets really into the mental edge, the preparation, that sort of thing, because that's where he can still dominate, even with the neck surgeries and, and the aging body he has. And here's the thing. I mean, we're used to people watching films of previous games, right? right? I mean, that's a normal thing. Athletes right. do that all the time. What does Peyton Manning do? <laughs> Manning likes to watch really old games. And so the rule of thumb in the NFL is you watch the three previous games of an opponent before you play them. So Manning doesn't do that. He ignores that rule of thumb, and he watches five, six, seven games, but last week uh, before they played the Patriots, Peyton Manning decided to watch 10, 11, 12 games, and eventually the coaching st staff thought, well, we're out of games, time to go home, and he said, no, let's watch a, a Patriots-Rams game, the one from 12 years ago, a Super Bowl, which had nothing to do with anything, he just sort of wanted to do it, so the coaches stayed around, you know, maybe it wasn't the greatest thing for their family life to, to sit around and watch you know, 30 hours of games, but they did it, and you know, look where they are, they beat the Patriots and they're here. All right, we'll see how that hyper-preparation works out on Sunday, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me.